So I'm just at this place called Castle Craig here and this is probably the best view you can get of this fall foliage here in Connecticut. I mean, it's just gorgeous and I just happened to hit a perfect day. I mean, it was raining this morning and the sun just came out in the evening and it's just fantastic. So for the next two weeks, I will be checking out a place in the US I have not spent any time in, and that is up here in New England. And while I've been to Vermont, New Hampshire, Massachusetts, grew up in Pennsylvania and spent a lot of time in New York, I have never come here to Connecticut until now. <laughs> and I'll have a few days driving around to check out lots of different places in the state. It is a work trip, so I won't be able to enjoy it as much as I'd like. But because it is the fall, I will get to enjoy some of the foliage, which is fantastic. I love the colors and when the trees turn yellow and red. So hopefully you'll enjoy this trip as much as I will. Let's go out and see more of this state. I've just spent the last couple days actually right here in the Hartford area. I'm just a little outside the city in this charming little town called Avon. And while it seems like you're in the countryside, you're really not. This is still a lot of people living out here, a lot of homes and a lot of traffic. And that's something I wasn't sure about before I came. I always thought that Connecticut was a pretty rural state, but it turns out a lot of people live in here. I swear there is a Dunkin Donuts cafe on every street corner and you can't drive more than a mile without passing one anywhere in this state or in New England for that matter. Honestly, I prefer Dunkin over Starbucks though, so I'm enjoying this and I'm drinking Dunkin pretty much every morning. There are a lot of very windy roads in this state. But I would say for the most part, as you get toward the southwestern side and you're near New York City, traffic really, really gets congested. But that's because of how many people are living in that area. I mean, it is just so densely packed uh, population wise. So even at times when you think you're in the countryside, there are just so many houses with hidden driveways, even when you're on these little tiny windy roads. Now, as you go to the northwest side of the state, that's where you really get the rural areas where there's some farms and very much just woods with not a whole lot else. And it's gorgeous out there. Just take a really slow drive and check out all those trees that have changed in the fall with the colorful leaves. I would say the highways are not my favorite here and that is because of how congested they get, especially as you get toward New York City, which borders the southern end of the state. And uh, 95 definitely really really crowded especially depending on what time of day you're driving south or north on that road it's basically a parking lot So today I'm just here in New Haven, Connecticut and I'm checking out one of the most famous colleges in the US and this is Yale. I believe it's the fourth oldest university in the country and uh, it's quite well known around the world as one of the best learning institutions. 
but that's something I'm finding out Connecticut's very famous for, is having lots of really, really good schools. How do you get out of the cities? Uh, just get out of Hartford, get out of New Haven, and come out here to the woods because this is really where I feel like a state like Connecticut shines. Because there are a lot of trees, a lot of forests, a lot of lakes, rivers, and it's just so gorgeous, especially if you come here in the fall. And I'm just enjoying walking these trails, seeing these gorgeous overlooks. You know, it, doesn't have the biggest mountains but it does have some incredible hills and uh, smaller mountains that you can check out and again great views especially with all the fall colors like the reds and yellows all over the hills I mean I could just spend my entire trip out here <laughs> without ever going back to uh, any of the major cities or the congestion Thanks for joining me today. Life's a journey meant to be shared. Remember to always travel with an open heart and an open mind. Enjoy the ride and keep your eyes on the horizon for the next adventure. I'll see you out there.